This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction A child is a human being, meaning that if there are rights set aside to protect human beings, children should, therefore, have their rights. If children are not protected, they are likely to fall victim to exploitation and abuse of different kinds. This simply explains the reason why the United States has formed an organization known as the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Children whose role is to protect children against abuse and exploitation. The purpose of this study is to answer two questions related to children's rights. Discussion How does cultural variation around sex and sexuality fit with the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child? What are the challenges faced by UNCRC? Are there principles or limits to the conditions for psychological intervention or programs of change? Cultural variations portrayed by different nations in the world play a key role in protecting children against sex and sexual abuse. The implication is that cultural variation around sex and sexuality can be integrated into the United Nations Conventions on the Rights of a Child by the introduction of universal sexuality education to all nations. This sexuality education should focus on all aspects of child abuse. For instance, it has been noted that sex education differs from one nation to another, meaning that in some nations, sex education focuses on abstinence only, while in others, it focuses on reproduction. In addition, other nations consider schools as being responsible for sex education, with parents playing just a mere role. However, in other nations, parents play a major role in sexuality education among their children. Since the United Nations Convention on the Rights of a Child protects all children against sexual abuse and exploitation, the universal sex education system should be established to fight cultural variations with the aim of protecting the rights of children effectively. As mentioned within the context of the study, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of a Child is faced with challenges associated with cultural variations. The other challenge facing UNCRC is that in some nations, the rights of children are practiced differently. For instance, sex education is perceived differently in many nations, thus creating an environment in which children cannot understand their rights and hence, are prone to abuse of various kinds. Family relations can be considered as causing both psychological and physical health to the children and should, therefore, be integrated into decision-making about intervention. Numerous studies have shown that homeless children are more prone to sexual abuse. The state of being homeless is a product of family relationships, meaning that when the mother and father are not on good terms, children may become uncomfortable and run away from home, thus becoming homeless. Comments on the influence of online media on gender and sexuality for adolescents and on continuity or the lack of continuity between generations on these issues. Technological advancement has posed a threat to gender and sexuality for adolescents. For instance, through online media, traditional gender roles have been eroded by the emergence of equity between males and females. It is from online media that many adolescents come to the realization that all people are equal despite their differences in sex. Online media provides fertile grounds through which young females could discover that their personalities have been exploited by traditional gender roles. They have come to understand their potential, hence competing with men in life. Young females have come to discover their potential to become the best doctors, engineers, military officers, and architects, among others. In addition, they have discovered that they have the potential to provide for their children, thus neglecting the role of the husband in the family. On the other hand, online media, such as the internet, have acted as social grounds for many adolescents. Through the use of the internet, adolescents can access photographic images that influence them sexually. This is to say that adolescents can learn numerous sexual behaviors from online media. Some of the sexual behaviors that can be learned through online media include gay activities and lesbian activities that form the basis of homosexuality. 
The implication is that if adolescents are given the opportunity to access online media, traditional gender roles will be replaced by modern gender roles, and homosexuality will advance in the near future, meaning that the homosexual generation will come into existence. This essay on children's rights concept was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one, on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for, free of charge.